I'm happy to say we got new for 2021, the FN 509 Edge. That's not the 509 Edge. Oh, it's the VP9 now. We did this with the, I thought we had a P50 too. So everybody, Clint here with Classic Firearms coming at y'all with a pretty fun video today. And since SHOT Show 2021 isn't happening, we're here to go ahead and discuss about all the new stuff coming this year and maybe the coming years or if you're Magpul 2008, like over a decade later. But speaking of Magpul, let's go ahead and hop right in this. We are talking about the Top Guns of 2021 Part 1 and we're going to start off with the Magpul. <sighs> It's not the FMG anymore, you know, the dual wielding Modern Warfare 3 akimbo gun. It's the FDP-9 and the FDC-9 little folding gun. And everybody remembers that video that was circulating back in 2008 of the guy at SHOT Show displaying this little folding machine gun thing, right? And uh, <laughs> they said in that video that they had no plans of actually producing this thing until Zev Technology, Zev Tech, awesome brand by the way, came out with the OZ9 pistol. Zev and Magpul are now working together on the FDP9. I'm excited about it. Why? Because it's so freaking different from everything else on the market. It's pretty cool. They're actually making a folding Glock kind of neat, unlike, you know, <laughs> things that don't exist anymore. But uh, anyway, so Zev Technologies, like I said, have the OZ9. We covered them at our SHOT Show coverage last year. If you're curious to check that out, check that out. And I'm a huge fan of Zev. I've got some of their products on some of my personal firearms, things like that. And for them to be teaming up with a company like Magpul, super freaking cool. So happy to see the FDP9, this little foldy guy coming out. And uh, hopefully we'll see it, they're saying, next year they're saying, but we'll see how that goes. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Next up is this guy. This is the Century AP5, or I think what it's called, the uh, Apparatus Pistol, which is Latin for Machine Pistol. I see what they did there, MP5, okay, cool, got it. And uh, if it looks like any other MP5 clone, like, I don't know, from Turkey by MKE, slash Zenith. Uh, that's pretty much what it is. It looks like Sentry Arms took over the MKE plant in Turkey that Zenith used to have control over and are now going to be the ones importing and distributing the MKE MP5 under Sentry as the AP5 apparatus pistol. Pretty cool stuff. It's still a five and a half pound uh, nine millimeter pistol coming with the 30 round steel mags. Sweet. And everything else that we could actually ask for as far as these MP5 clones. Because since Zenith is no longer producing them from Turkey now, I have heard a little rumor that, or at least Zenith even said on their social media, that it looks like they might be coming out with something soon. So keeping my fingers crossed that maybe they're going to actually start producing US made MP5 clones. We'll see, but uh, let me know your thoughts and comments down below on that. But yes, Century is bringing in what they are calling an affordable MP5 clone, maybe affordable to the Turkish prince that they're buying these from or something because uh, I there's, the MSRP is still like at $2,800, so we'll see. But anyway, excited MP5s. Hopefully the market will get flooded with them and then maybe that'll drive down cost. I don't know, we'll see. Next. Next up is the FN 509 LS Edge, and it's pretty much everything I wanted the 509 pistol to be, really. Uh, I love the FN 509 Tactical, of course. Like when we first got one in, sitting there, playing with it, checking out the sights and all the coolness of the cool factor that the gun had, and then I felt the trigger and I was like, what? Uh, it's gritty, it's it's not the best, but for a carry gun, you know, it probably would be fine. You could probably, you know, polish it up, go out, shoot it, probably smooth out over time. Well, the new 509 LS Edge is more of like their competition series, and the new conical striker that they have on it is supposed to reduce the trigger pull weight by about a pound and a half from the original 509, so that's pretty sweet if you ask me. And everything about the LS Edge just looks clean. First off, it's coming with three 17 round mags, uh, or three 10 round mags, depending on you know, your laws and stuff. Uh, does also too have still their patent 
their patented optics mounting system. So you get to keep your rear sight. You can co-witness uh, with like the RMR, things like that. So that looks really good. I, I do like the fact that you can still co-witness your iron sights to your optic because unlike some brands out there, Canik, you have to lose your rear sight if you want to mount an optic to it. And that's just not my favorite thing to do because you know, batteries die and optics break. And I still like to have a backup sight system personally. Anyway, Picatinny rail on the bottom, five inch barrel, very cool, extended mag, uh, extended mag well, they got that little beveled well for you, which looks really cool. Flat face trigger also looks very clean and I do love the ergonomics of a flat face trigger. So I'm excited to get one of these in my hand and try them out. And is it gonna compare to, I don't know, all of the other guns that look just like it, like the Walther still frame match, the Q5, or the VP9 that we have over there in the corner? Hi, this is pretty much the 509 Edge. There it is. But no, this is the <laughs> VP9, and it looks pretty similar to this guy, uh, but I would like to actually, you know, go head to head with them, kind of like what we did or are doing with the um, Hellcat and the 365. That'd be kind of fun, right? But anyway, 509 Edge LS, I've got high hopes. Hopefully it works. <laughs> Now this one I'm pretty excited about because it's coming from one of my personally favorite manufacturers of AKs, AK variants, and that is Zastava Arms. They are coming out with the M90, which is kind of like the 85 and the M70 combined, and all it is really is an M70 chambered in 5.56, but there's a little bit more to that, right? So it's gonna have uh, an adjustable gas block on it, which I think is super cool. Three positions, so it kind of reminds me of the PWS Mark 111 long stroke system with an adjustable gas block, pretty sweet stuff. And also too, it looks like they're upgrading uh, some other parts as far as the bolt goes to give you a little bit more of like a felt recoil, like a delayed recoil, so it helps you know mitigate recoil. Right, but anyway, it's a 5.56 AK. It looks sweet coming from Zastava, which I, again, am a huge fan of. And it's still even having, like the M70, it's still having all the same furniture, the same components, uh, same magazine as the 85, but now also to their own polymer 85 style magazine. So if you wanted to put like the old school steel ones in there from the 85, you can, or if you wanna use some of the new polymer ones that the 90 is coming with, you can. You still get the Bulge Trunnion 1.5 millimeter thick receiver, all of the fun stuff that we love about the M70s. Yes, and the chrome line barrel. So, I mean, all of it is just like, how awesome is that? And of course, chambered in 5.56. Now, if only more manufacturers were producing 5.56, am I right? But anyway, again, Zastava Arms out of Serbia. They're making all sorts of cool stuff, and I'm really happy that they're introducing the M90, which I hope to be seeing really soon in the new warehouse. Hoping, fingers crossed. Next up for our last gun on our part one top guns of 2021, we've got, yes, one we've talked about already in previous videos, but I can't help myself. Gotta talk about it again, the kel P50. Why do I need to talk about it again? Because it is a pistol that looks like something out of Star Wars, actually, like a Stormtrooper gun, but it's chambered in 5.7 by 28, which is also the same caliber that the Ruger 5.7, the FN 5.7, and the FN PS90 are all chambered in, but it's taking the P90 mags and it's shipping with two of them, two 50 round mags for the P50. Guys, this thing is super cool looking. Like I said, it looks like something out of Star Wars. Even though the image that you're seeing right here, it doesn't look like it, does actually ship with iron sights. You do have the Picatinny rail up top and a little bit on the bottom. So if you wanted to throw, you know, a different type of optic up top, you can. If you want to throw like a, you know, some sort of hand stop or something on the bottom or a flashlight, you can. But remember, it's chambered in 5.7 by 28, which is an awesome little cartridge. I'm a huge fan of. We even have a video out there all about how effective is 5.7 by 28. And yeah, we shoot it some. So go check that video out if you're curious about it. But ultimately, Keltec is always coming out with some crazy stuff. We recently did a video, a, a brand or a manufacturer spotlight of Keltec, you know, highlighting some of the firearms that they've made. And the P50 was definitely talked about in there because it's something new, something we haven't really seen before. And hopefully more manufacturers are all about producing firearms chambered in 5.7 because I would like to see it be a little bit more popular just because of how freaking fun it is to shoot. And another cool thing is Keltec has announced that these things should start shipping quarter one of this year. So hopefully within the next couple of weeks, we'll get one in, hopefully a few of them in, to play with, to shoot, to sell, and of course, most likely to give away. Because here at Classic Firearms, 
we love to give away guns. In fact, we're giving away the Steyr right behind me, the SSG-08A1, and that's how we're gonna close out this video. This 308 precision rifle, bolt action, coming with a 10 round mag, Leupold VX6 HD 3 to 18 optic is so weak. And you know, like I said, it's our current giveaway. This whole thing, this whole setup's like 8,500 or something like that. It's, it's pretty expensive and it's going to one of y'all for free, like no purchase necessary. And remember, it's not who has the most entries. All it takes is one entry to win, but of course, the more you have, the better. So like the P50 that might be coming soon or some of the other guns you see hanging up on the wall, they're probably gonna be given away. Current one is the SSG-08A1. Head on over to classicfirearms.com and hit that top banner. It'll show you all the different ways to get said entries. And one of those entry methods is a code word. Code word for this one is the brand, the manufacturer, Steyr, S-T-E-Y-R. Don't miss out. And guys, let me know down in the comments what are you looking forward to that's supposed to be released this year? Supposed to be, or at least if it's announced this year, what are you guys looking forward to? And remember, this is only part one. Be, except, be expecting quite a few other parts to this video coming out as things are announced, so on. Uh, but yeah, again, this is a completely discussion-based video. I wanna hear from y'all. What are you excited about? What's your favorite from the top five that we've talked about today? And we'll see you guys next time at classicfirearms.com. God bless.